Hello everybody. In today's video, I explain the options of the ARRI Premio Plus 2G actuator. It is important to note in advance that qualified personnel may only carry out any changes to the actuator configuration. In addition, the actuator must be voltage free. The first option is the universal power supply unit. In the basic version, the ARRI Premio Plus 2G actuator is equipped with a 24 volt AC DC supply. If, as in our example, a 230 volt supply is required, this can be implemented via an additional universal power supply unit. This universal power supply unit covers all common voltages between 90 and 264 V AC and 47 to 63 Hz. To install the universal power supply unit in the actuator, first remove the cover of the actuator. To install the universal power supply unit, first remove the two screws. The small spacer bolts are then screwed on at this point. Next, thread the universal power supply unit over the large spacer bolt and screw it down here. It is important to ensure that the cable is passed through the cable clamp and that it is screwed in so that it does not come into contact with the rotating motor. Now, the second screw has to be tightened here. Then, the universal power supply unit is mechanically installed. Now, the 230 volt supply can be connected up here in our example. If a 400 volt supply is required, this can be provided by an optional 400 volt power supply unit. The next option is the LED status indicator. The LED status indicator transmits the color signals from the LEDs installed on the control panel to the outside. For the mounting, we need the rectangular LED strip, which has to be clipped on first. Then you have to pay attention to the correct color sequence of the strands. First black, then green, then red, and finally blue. Then the spacer bolt has to be replaced by a longer one. Practical tip. Secure the new spacer bolt with Loctite. The next option is the analog output card. The analog output card is plugged into this slot and secured with two screws. The output signal of the analog output card corresponds to the control signal MA or V set on the control panel. In this example, MA. The next option is the type relay board. First, the protective cover must be attached. Then the type relay card is plugged on. Practical tip. As with the analog output card, Please make sure that all contacts are plugged in. Now, both parts must be screwed with four screws. The type relay card contains four different relays. Two relays each for the position feedback and one relay each for the failure and warning signal. When the actuator is ready for operation, the individual positions can be stored. The actuator must be moved manually to a desired position. The button is then pressed until the red LED lights up once. If it is permanently lit, the corresponding position is stored. The second position can be set the same way. The actuator is moved back to the desired position. The second button is pressed until the LED lights up once. When the LED lights up, the second position is stored. Pressing both buttons simultaneously resets both positions. 
Now, the corresponding travel dependent relay is switched in travel mode when the respective position is reached. Another option is the heating resistor. The heating resistor is installed at this point in the actuator and is simply threaded and screwed in here. The heating resistor is used in regions where it is very cold or where large temperature differences can occur to avoid condensation in the actuator. The heating is supplied with external voltage and can be supplied via the actuator if necessary. The next option is the Bluetooth module. The Bluetooth module is used to communicate the ARRI Premio Plus 2G actuator with the My Premio app. It uses the same slot as the analog output card and has the analog feedback signal integrated. It is simply plugged in and fixed with the two screws. Fade it in. The Bluetooth module is part of the communication package together with the analog feedback and LED status indicator. The next option is the potentiometer. The potentiometer is used for electrical position feedback and returns, for example, a signal between 0 and 1000 ohm. The conductive layer potentiometer we use has a very good lifetime and high linearity tolerances. The potentiometer is installed at this point. Other options can also be installed, such as the bus module for communication with various bus systems or the DTRON process controller for controlling temperature applications without using additional control cabinets.